All right, good afternoon. I am uh, Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Subcommittee on Planning, Dispositions, and Concessions. Welcome to today's hearings. Today we're joined by Councilmember Andrew Cohen and Councilmember Mark Traeger. Uh, today we'll be holding one hearing on LU 825, the NYCHA Small Homes Rehab Application, seeking amendments to previously approved tax exemptions for properties in Councilmember Miller's District. LU 797, an Archer Green Tax Exemption Application, and LU 816, the Lower East Side Inclusionary Housing Tax Exemption Application, will be laid over. HPD is the applicant for LUs 825, seeking a technical correction to a previously granted tax exemption approval pursuant to Section 694 of the General Municipal Law for the following properties in Queens. 89-24, 168th place, uh, 210-33, 113th Avenue, 102-47, 187th Street, and 110-60 Wood Street. The technical correction is needed to add language allowing for the tax exemption to begin on January 1st or July 1st, whichever shall first occur, following the date that the project sponsors acquires the properties. The tax exemption for these urban development action area projects areas would be for a term of 20 years. The properties which contain one to four family homes will be conveyed to the project sponsor, rehabilitated and resold to, uh, to purchasers, earning no more than 120% of the AMI. I am now opening up the public hearings on LU825. Mr. Speaker, please introduce yourself. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the subcommittee. Uh, this land use action seeks a correction to resolution number 1665, which was approved by the council on September 27, 2017. The original resolution provided that the project area be exempt from real property taxes commencing on uh, July the July 1st following the conveyance of the project area to the sponsor. However, due to administrative error, the resolution inadvertently omitted language indicating that the tax ex exemption shall commence on Janu January 1st or July 1st, whichever shall occur first, following the date that sponsor acquires the entire project area. In order, to, uh, in order for HPD to execute a certificate of eligibility, it is necessary to seek a correction to resolution number 1665. All right, thank you. Are there any members of the public who wish to testify? Members of the committee? No, oh, seeing none, I will now close public hearings LU 825. I will now call for a vote to approve LU 825, which has the support of Council Member Miller. Council, please call the roll. Chair Salamanca. Aye. Councilmember Cohen. Aye. Councilmember Traeger. Aye. LU 825 is approved by a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions, and referred to the Land Use Committee. Well, I would like to thank the council and land use staff for preparing today's hearings and the members of the public and my colleagues for attending. This meeting is hereby adjourned.